First look at MIUI 10.2.2.0 stable based on Android 9.0 Pi running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Anji here, back with another video. And guess what? Xiaomi has started rolling out. MIUI 10.2.2.0 stable based on Android 9.0 Pi for the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't gotten the OTA yet, I have a link for the OTA in the description of this video. And I also have a link to the full ROM in case you want to flash the full ROM using Twerp. The security patch on this build is from 2018-1201, which means it is December 2018. And the funny part is someone from Poco Global or the head of Poco Global tweeted out about this update mentioning that it has the latest security patch. Well guess what dude, you are in January 2019 and the update has a security patch from December 2018 so clearly not the latest. Let us now go into system update. Click on the three dot menu on the top right. Click on what's new to get the official change log. This is the official change log from Xiaomi for MIUI 10.2.2.0. They updated the Android security patch. You now have 960 FPS slow motion in the building along with low light mode in MIUI camera. Let's go and check out those changes. Home screen, camera application and bam there we have it. Night mode in the building on the Xiaomi Poco F1 stock MIUI camera. Scroll to the left, go into slow motion and bam there you have it. 960 FPS in the building as well. So those two changes are added in this build. Let us now go into video, click on the three bar menu on the top right, go into settings, go into video quality. So you still don't get your 4K 60fps or 1080p 60fps. I guess you'll have to wait for the February build to get those features. While we are at the topic of camera, let's go ahead and install the latest Google Pixel 3 camera APK, this guy over here. It is also linked in the description of this video. And we will check whether the lag which we had in the previous stable build for Pi has gone or not. Open the application, click on allow four times, bam, viewfinder in the building and I don't see any lag. So the lag is gone which means those of you who don't have root and don't want to root your device can now use the Google Pixel 3 camera without any issues and I did test out and took some of these pictures. There's no lag even after two pictures. Let's go ahead and give that a try here. Bam, 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 bam. So as you can see, we just took multiple shots and there's still no lag and night sight is also working. Let's now go into settings and see whether they removed the option for ambient display or not, which they added by mistake. And there you have it. They have removed the option for ambient display. Let's now go into full screen display and see whether we have the option to hide the notch or not. No, we still don't have the option to hide the notch. Let's now go and search for display cutout to see if they've added the option in developer options because I do have developer options enabled. Need to learn how to type display and I don't see the option for display cutout which means they still haven't added the option of display cutout in developer options. So you will have to use the Nacho Notch app to hide the notch on the Poco F1 stable build. Time to check whether Xiaomi added smart auto rotate with this build or not. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, this is my Pixel 2, go into settings, rotate the screen, tilt the phone like so, and bam, there it is. I have the option to rotate the screen, even though my rotation is locked. Let's try that on the Xiaomi Poco F1, go into settings, rotate the screen, tilt the phone, do I get the option? No, I don't get the option, so Xiaomi still hasn't implemented smart auto rotate on this latest Android Pi stable build. Let's now check whether they fix the keyboard cutting out when you enabled full screen gestures or not. So go into settings, full screen display, enable full screen gestures, home screen, open the Chrome application, try to fire up the keyboard and there it is. Your keys are still being cut out. so. Xiaomi still hasn't fixed this and I'm pretty sure this is something which is on the lowest priority list. And the last thing which I would like to check is persistent notifications. Go into settings, go into notification and status bar, show icons for incoming notifications, enable this guy and bam, there it is. I have my notifications, but they just vanished. So you do not have persistent notifications. Still, the notifications which you get for emails and other things will only show for a few seconds and disappear like they just did again. And for those of you wondering whether the touch sensitivity and flickering screen issues were fixed or not, well, they're not part of this build from what I have read on Twitter, 
the forums. So the good side from this build is that you get 960 FPS slow motion and Xiaomi's night mode in MIUI camera. And you can use the Google Pixel 3 camera without any lags, without any fixes. That is the positive side. The downside is that you still don't have fixes for your touch screen. You still cannot hide your notch. You still don't have persistent notifications and you're still on the December security patch. Trust me, I LOL'd, laughed out loud when I read that tweet, went ahead and checked my phone and saw that the security patch is from December 2018 and the head of Poco Global tweets out it's the latest Android security patch. Oh my God, it's 2019, dude, it's 2019. Happy New Year. That's it for this video, peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.